whenever you're ready. I'm ready. Are you, the question is, are you ready? I'm so ready. America, are you ready for Gillian Jacobs? <laughs> oh, yes, oh. I think the answer is yes. I feel it, the resounding yes. Yes, they are. So, hi. Hi. You know, before we started rolling, you were saying you're a nervous wreck, and I'm looking at you, and you look so pulled together and cute and pert and happy. Why, what would you have to be nervous about? You're a star, <laughs> you live in Los Angeles. Oh, yes. I don't know, I just have constant anxiety. Doesn't everybody? I just thought that was the normal state of being. Are you Jewish like me? I'm not. Oh, well then, I don't know, then what's your problem? Uh <laughs> I know we have to talk about your Netflix show, Love. So it's porn. Yeah. It's, well, it's Netflix, so it basically could be. Is it? Yeah, there's sexual <laughs> situations. Uh, am I nervous for my family to watch it? Yes. I've always wondered what that's like. Well, I my mother loves to visit set, and I was on the show Community for a long time. You know, it's a network sitcom, very PG. Hey, I like need you to save the pelicans. And I was trying to tell her with this new show, it's gonna be a little bit different. There might be days I don't want you to come. And she was like, well, I'll watch it on TV. I'll watch you shoot it. I was like, no, the <laughs> last thing you want is your mother Ugh. watching you do a simulated sex scene. I think the last thing you want is your grandfather watching that. Do you know that my mother took my grandfather to a movie in which I was nude and didn't warn him? I'm Cherry Daiquiri. It's not my real name. You pass on at that moment? He thankfully hung on for a few more years, but maybe his soul died in that moment. <laughs> and he said to my mother, I don't ever want to see that again. I was like, Mom, yes. what were you thinking? You can't take him to that. And why? what makes an actress choose to take that kind of role? You know, um, there's a disproportionate number of stripper roles for young actresses. I don't think it's exactly proportionate to the population, but you know, it sort of feels like a rite of passage as a young actress. Relationships are f***ing bullshit. Where do these lies come from? F***ing movies. Pretty woman? Uh, lies? With Harry Met Sally? F***ing lies? Get it out of my body! Oh. So, back to your show, Love. Yes. In the press materials, they said your character is a brazen wild child. Oh, yes. I just love that. You're a brazen wild child. Yes. What do it mean? It means um, she uh, sticks her foot in her mouth a lot. I know it's like not appropriate to be standing up here in a bathing suit, but I took an Ambien tonight. She has a real need for attention, which leads her to do a lot of things that she regrets later. Um, she may or may not jump off a roof at some point. Fuckers! For me, this part was like getting to act out all the things I'm too afraid to do. Okay, so now that you've tasted of the fruits, yeah. might you become a slightly more, you know, razzle-dazzle kind of gal? You know, this New Year's I was asleep before midnight, so I don't think it's stuck. I'm just gonna like get it all out on the, on the show. Is there anything else that you would like to do in life but you're not brave enough to do in real life but you think a character could help you do? Well, I still don't have my ears pierced. So I, I offered up to them that I, if they want to pierce my ears on camera for the second season of the show, I'm willing to do it. If you're gonna take a giant leap, you might as well do it. Yeah, on TV. This is what jealousy is, huh? I guess I've never really experienced it before. One of the crew's favorite shows is Girls. How did you like the experience? It was dreamy. Dreamy? Dreamy. And that's, tell. Well, I mean, it was the m most supportive, happiest, most laid back, mellow set I've ever been on. Uh, everyone was in a good mood all the time. Uh, the days were easy. You felt like you were doing good work. It's a dream job. It's a dream job. It's a dream so job. So will there be more of you? I don't know. I've offered myself <laughs> up. But you know, my character Adam broke Mark. up with Adam. I choose to be alone. What the fuck are you talking about? I'd be so happy to go back whenever they wanted me. Let's make the pitch now. Um, Mimi Rose returns to ruin Jessa's life. Um, uh, she probably could blackmail her, yes. and then maybe um, she could also have be a dog walking a business. Yes, but then they could, <laughs> she could fall in love with Jess and they could be lovers. Yeah, totally. Done, so Done. girls, we have written your next season for you. And we get a writer's credit. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs>